I'm just trying to upload this now. For some reason, my clip this morning is not working. I want to say good morning. So, good morning. And I said I was going to put in some pictures from the flights yesterday. So, do that now. Hopefully, this will work. Hey guys, so I'm outside there sleeping, which is why the lights went off earlier. Um, but I'm about to go back inside to do my treatment because I'm freezing. It's really cold out here. <laughs> I am not used to this. I'm gonna go sit on the porch. Um, but I, uh, the flights yesterday went pretty well. I didn't, I think I told you guys this morning I didn't get my haircut. But anyway, it's all messed up. You're just gonna have to excuse that. But. The flights went pretty well. Um, both flights I landed early, so I got into St. Louis like 30 minutes early, and I got into Little Rock I think like 10 minutes early. But the airports were super empty. I thought they were going to be crowded because, especially last time I went through St. Louis, it was really crowded, like stressfully crowded. It was not. I actually had an entire corner of the airport to myself, and uh, it was nice. I didn't ever feel like I was super close to everybody. Like on both flights, I had the entire row to myself because the flights weren't full. And um, there's only 50 people on the flight coming to Little Rock. So it was a lot, it went a lot better than I thought it was going to. The thing that actually interested me, if you guys don't know, I used to be afraid of flying and then I started loving flying and then I like, yeah. And I hadn't been afraid. I was actually a little bit afraid on takeoff when we, when we left Tampa, not when we left, um, St. Louis but when we left Tampa I was actually like a little bit afraid before we took off and I think that's just because I hadn't flown in like four months five months I've only flown three times this year which is way less than I used to and so uh I was just a little bit afraid once I was in the air I loved it I realized I remembered I was like yeah I really love flying and uh and that both flights went pretty well and it the whole process actually went pretty smooth I didn't get home last night until about six um even though I got in about 1 30 just because we had to do stuff so I was really tired last night. I went to bed at like 9.40, which the time change is throwing me off also. Today feels like it's going on forever because I'm back in central time and I'm so used to Eastern time. But yeah, it all went pretty well. So today was, yesterday was a lot, lot, lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was scared I was gonna have a panic attack on the plane. I was scared that like, I was gonna panic in the airport, you know, but none of that really happened. Like I was a little bit anxious, but I never felt super terrible. And then I was just happy to be out here, so. It all went good, and uh, this is, uh, if I knew it was going to go like that, I probably would have logged, although I also was, like, super tired because I had to get up at 5 a.m., and then that's why I went to bed at 9.40 last night, but, um, yeah, it went good, and later on today, I'm going to go see the horses. I briefly, we got home, it was, like, pretty much dark when we got home, so I just went over there super quick and said hi to the guy. I didn't even go see the horses themselves. Like, I saw them from a distance, but I didn't go say hi, so I'm going to go see them around 1 o'clock. It's like 10.30, like I said, time is dragging, but, um, yeah, it was nice. Should be a good day. Um, I still have, I'm, I'm glad I'm not in Florida right now, honestly, because it is, we're getting troubles from Edda today. My dad was just calling me, like, they could lose power and, uh, like, 90 mile an hour winds and all this kind of stuff, so I will certainly take this sunny but cold <laughs> weather. It's going up to the 60s, it shouldn't be terrible, but I'm going to show you guys the trees also, because, it, I mean, they're kind of brown, I guess, but somebody who's been in Florida and hasn't really experienced fall when I went through Missouri yesterday I couldn't get really good pictures of it from the plane I was trying but the colors were just so beautiful just so beautiful and uh, I was just loving it so I'll show you guys the trees and this kind of feels like old times I don't remember the last time I sat on I guess it was July I sat on this porch and vlogged I used to do this all the time when I lived here but yeah so anyway I'm gonna turn this around so across from us we have all the pretty trees. I find them pretty. I don't know, maybe you guys don't. You probably have seen prettier. I kind of missed the peak of fall, but there's a little bit of red, there's a little bit of orange, little hues of yellow, and uh, and it's nice. And then there's still some green too, like the crate in the middle and stuff is still green. So. <clears throat> anyway, I needed to go do a treatment, so I'm gonna go back inside now. Um, and also my hands are cold. <laughs> This is going to take some getting used to, but I like it, guys. It's November 11th. Like, it should be cold. It shouldn't be 80-something degrees or even worse, like, right now, pretty much a hurricane. So, um, 
I will take the glorious blue skies, like literally not a cloud in the sky, and uh, and this weather. So anyway, I'm gonna go do my treatment. So I'll see you guys later on today, probably when I go to the barn. Hey guys, so it is still quite early in the day. It is just about one o'clock, but I am heading down to the barn, which is a line I have not said in a long time, four months, and uh, super sunny today. Um, I am really, really excited. I, I briefly, like I said, I briefly stopped there last night and said hi, but I didn't actually like see the horses. And uh, so I just figured I'd go now because um, we're gonna work on the house later and get this up early. Like once I go to the barn, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this for the day because I still am playing catch up from yesterday. But um, I'm really, really excited. Hopefully they will be more towards the front of the pasture. I don't think it's rained here in a while on my mom's side, so it shouldn't be muddy down there, but wanna walk two million miles. But anyway, so uh just finished eating some breakfast slash lunch and uh I see Matt and he's at the front so I can go say hi to Matt and just uh find me a little horse town. Hey buddy boy how you been? Hey. Hey. How you been? You look bigger. I don't know why you do. You been good? The girls are like all the way down there, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to them. You been good? Yeah? There's Frank. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I know when they wouldn't be doing that, but they are. Hi, pretty boy. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and have an early vlog and end it here. I'm probably gonna go back to the horses around like 4 or 4.30, because hopefully the girls will be like, where I can reach them, but they were past the trees. It was a little bit muddy where Matt was, so I was not doing that. Plus I still have a little bit of a headache. I've had a headache since, yesterday, kind of like a migraine last night, so I went to bed really, really early, and uh, it's not a migraine today, like I can function and have light, like last night it was the kind where I just had to lay in the dark and not move kind of thing. I can have light and I can function, but I just, I don't want to go on super long walks, so um, I'll go down there later, um, but it was nice to see Matt, and I could see Frank, he wasn't going to come to me, but I could see Frank, and uh, yeah, I miss that. You know, I love, I love my life in Florida, but I do miss that a lot. That's one thing that, you know, I was very, very happy to come, come and I can't wait to see Blondie later. But, um, yeah, so you got your little bit of, little bit of horse and uh, I will show you guys it more tomorrow. But today I just want to, I wanted to vlog, but I also just want to soak in today and uh, later on hopefully get a FaceTime with a friend and just also helping my mom paint the house and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you guys the house at some point too, but uh, probably maybe tomorrow or over the weekend. But um, anyway, so just gonna wrap up today here, but it's good to be here. It's good to be away from the hurricane. And uh, I, I left like the right time because Tampa airport is closed now. So I left at the perfect time and uh, just enjoying a sunny November day in Arkansas. So hope you guys are having a good day as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.